Okay, so we'll do a view of the liver. So this is the liver sitting within your body. So that's a superior and inferior. So you have lobes. You have the large right lobe. You have the left lobe. Uh, you have what's referred to as the falciform ligament, which is gonna come up off the liver and attach to the diaphragm above. Uh, the ligament continues, they refer to these pieces of it as the coronary ligament, also will come up and attach to the diaphragm, securing it to the diaphragm, okay? At the lower end here, we have the round ligament that comes up the underside, and it's kind of a nice round kind of rope configuration. Uh, you have two other lobes that you see from the backside, underside, you have this one shaped like a quadrangle, we call it the quadrate, and then you have this one up here called the chordate, so four lobes of the liver. Then we have the vessels. So the liver serves two purposes with regard to digestion. It manufactures a secretion, bile, and all the green represents that. The bile is going to be produced collected, and then released into the, into the duodenum. It also serves as a filter, meaning blood from the intestines must first percolate and filter through the liver for processing before it will go to the heart, and then the heart will distribute it to the systemic circulation. So there's these purple vessels, which represent the connection, the vessels that connect the intestines to the liver. That's the hepatic portal circulation. Intestines to liver. So this large cut edge is from the hepatic portal vein, which collected all of the nutrient-rich blood from the intestines and is now bringing it to the liver. And then the hepatic portal vein is going to branch and branch and branch into smaller and smaller branches. This blood, which is nutrient-rich but low in oxygen, is going to be distributed to the hepatocytes, which is gonna process it. Once the hepatocytes process it, the blood will leave the liver, and then all of these small blue vessels will be collecting that deoxygenated blood, little venules collecting deoxygenated blood, leading to larger veins, ultimately leading to the right and left hepatic veins, right and left which lead to the inferior vena cava, which bring it to the heart, okay? Last, the red, the red, this is the cut branch of the, coming off of the hepatic artery proper. That's a branch off of the celiac trunk. Hepatic artery proper from the celiac trunk, coming off of the aorta, brings oxygenated nutrient-rich blood to the cells of the liver to supply the hepatocytes with oxygenated blood. So then it will branch into smaller arteries, into smaller arterioles, eventually into small capillaries, feeding the hepatocytes. You see the gallbladder, there's the cystic duct, okay? It's difficult to see some of the other components, but I think if we use the stick, watch, from the right side, all of these green, all right? These are green bile ducts are collecting bile from the cells, and you can follow it here. Here it's coming in. There's your right hepatic duct. Then the left side, all these green vessels, bile ducts collecting the bile. There's your left hepatic duct. Right where my stick is, right? My stick is laying right on it. That would be the common hepatic duct, cystic duct, and then from here to the pancreas, and that would be the common bile duct. So it's all squashed together, but we can see the, the flow.